Regenerative braking recovers kinetic energy and transforms it into electrical energy, which is then stored in the battery. When you ease off on the accelerator pedal or depress the brake pedal, the wheels drive the electric motor, generating electricity to recharge the traction battery. Regenerative braking improves efficiency and driving range, while reducing wear to the brakes. Your vehicle has several levels of regenerative braking. Use the two paddles fitted behind the steering wheel to select the level. This allows you to adjust your driving comfort whenever you like. With the gear lever in position D, press the paddle on the left to increase the level of regenerative braking. Press the paddle on the right to reduce it. This light on the instrument panel indicates the current braking level. At the minimum level, there is no engine brake effect. Driving is smooth, the car maintains its speed when you ease off on the accelerator. This level provides ideal comfort for motorway driving. The higher the level, the greater the effect on engine braking when the accelerator pedal is lifted. The one pedal function for vehicles equipped with this function is the maximum level of regenerative braking. It allows you to drive using mainly the accelerator pedal. As usual, the vehicle picks up speed when you depress the accelerator pedal. However, when you release the accelerator pedal, the vehicle decelerates to a complete stop. You no longer need to press the brake pedal to brake, except for emergency braking. When you press the accelerator again, you regain speed. This driving mode is especially useful in built-up areas where there is a lot of stopping and starting. To activate the function, your gear lever must be in position D. Press this paddle as many times as necessary until the message one pedal activated appears. The one pedal indicator appears on the dashboard, accompanied by an acoustic signal, to confirm that it has been activated. Note that when you shift into reverse, R, or position N or P, the function goes into standby to make maneuvering easier for you. The one pedal indicator then appears in gray on the instrument panel. When you switch back to position D, the function reactivates when your speed is above 12 km per hour. The indicator light returns to blue. To deactivate the function while driving, press the right paddle. If you are stationary, press the brake pedal and then press the paddle. The message one pedal deactivated then appears on the instrument panel. The light will go out and a beep will sound to confirm that it has been deactivated. Note that the one pedal function is deactivated when the engine is switched off. If needed, you will then need to reactivate it the next time you start the engine. Depending on your vehicle's equipment, if you activate extended grip or multi-sense snow mode, the one pedal function will not be available. Besides, on steep downhill slopes, it may be necessary to use the brake pedal to keep the vehicle stationary. Finally, if the message one pedal unavailables appears on the instrument panel, this means that the system has detected a fault. Contact a Renault representative to resolve the problem. Bear in mind that this feature is an additional aid that cannot be a substitute for your vigilance as a driver. Finally, as the one pedal function does not perform an emergency stop, always be aware of traffic conditions and your surroundings, so that you are ready to intervene and brake if necessary.